hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a, a demonstration kind of an overview of the find command which is a, a tool that can be used to search for files in Linux the find command can have uh, different options for searching for files you can search by file type file name file size and so on so i'll just uh, go over some of the available options the syntax for the command is find the command itself and then the path then you have your options and then the file name so that's the general syntax of it so we'll do the first example we'll search by uh, the file name here so find and then the the path is going to be the current folder i'm using a dot and then the option name dash name says you're searching by file name then we'll put the file name uh, let's say file 2 press enter and this is what we found if i do ls dash l you see our file 2 here that's what we found and then there's also another file 2 inside which is this one here so it searches in the, in the current directory and then any subfolders as well so when you when you specify the file name as i did here it's just gonna look for the exact match any variation is not gonna is not gonna be uh, found like if i add a file to maybe dash something it's not gonna find that you might want to use like a wild color and expression for that and we'll come to that example in a little bit another thing you have to realize is that the dash name is uh, case sensitive that's why i didn't file file 2 with the uppercase f if you needed it to be case insensitive you have to use a dash i name so it will be so i'll use the same command and i'll change this to i name and now as you can see I found the other file 2 with a diff, uh, with an f which is uppercase okay so another variation of the command is um using the option type so you can search by file type you can say find current folder type f so here type f just means uh files so you're searching for files specifically for files in that specific folder and these subdirectories so when you're using the this uh the type option there is different variations of descriptors you can use you can use like a directory you can you can search for directories you can change this to d you should just find directories you can look for block devices uh, symbolic links and stuff like that uh, we can go ahead and uh, do an example here find files in the root directory of type b which is block devices this is the uh, saying permissions denied so i'll have to use sudo here so, sudo. And as you can see, that's what he found. So all these are block devices. Okay, so the next option here will be to find files based on the file size. So I'll do sudo, then I'll find and the root directory here, files with the size which is greater than 10 megabytes. And that's what he found. So the next uh, variation will be to search based on a, a string or a pattern i'll demonstrate that with an example so find file with the name so i'll use a wildcard here start dot bin so pretty much what this is saying is that we are searching for files that end with star means anything and then at the end dot bin so as long as the end has dot bin you find those files and as you can see all these files are ending with the dot bin now you can combine the options here uh, for instance you can combine the options of type and name so for instance you can say find and then you can go to the etc folder look for files of type file which is f and then the name let's say uh, another string here files that end with the dot config inside so we are looking for files that end with .config, that's the name, and then the type is file, and this is the part is the etc uh, folder and its subdirectories, and this is what it's finding. Another thing you can do is you can send the results of your find result, I mean your find command 
to the grip command and say you're looking for files that have local in, in them, the string local. So another thing you can do with the, your search results, let's say find um, file two, let's use the case insensitive one. And then we can send this to a file, let's say test file. And here you have test file. And you can view the contents of the test file. And this, that's what you have. So you can do that if you're looking to view the results at another time. Okay, so I'll do one uh, final bonus command. It's gonna be a longer one, so it's fine. EDC, inside the ET, ETC directory, I want to find files, all files, because I'm using the wildcard, and then the type f for type files and i'm going to send this results to xrx which then sends the result which sends that to the grip command looking for this string right here we do have towards the end some files that have the, the string we're looking for right here so that's it for this video uh, i hope this information has been useful i'll see you all in my next video thanks bye